This is an interview being conducted by Michael Bell, music producer and CEO of Bell Time Records out of Lansing, Michigan. And we are here in the studio with gospel recording artist Terrence Hawkins from out of Jackson, Michigan. He's a saxophone player, songwriter, arranger, producer, and so many other things that we'll get to later. But right now, Terrence, praise God. How you doing, man? Bless you. I'm good today. Good. We have, we're, we're glad to have you here uh, in the studio uh, with this interview. Uh, that you're going to be a blessing to the, the listeners so people get a chance to know who you are and what you do. And let's dig right into the questions that I believe that some of the people will want to know about you. And the first thing is, what do you like most about your profession? The freedom to be myself. Be yourself. Ain't, ain't nothing like that. And, and the opportunity for people to feed off of the energy that I, that I put out. Now, do you, do you feel, now, uh, you know, I'm, this is from one musician to another. When you on stage, uh, do you feel like when, when the band is really hitting and that, and that audience is really giving back, yeah. well, what does that do for you, uh, man? You can ride it. You can ride it just like, just like a surfer riding a surfer. You can ride it. And it takes you places yeah. that otherwise you wouldn't go, yes. but it's in you. It just pulls out of you. Yeah. That, that's really what it's all about. Is, you know, and, and the thing is that in a day like today where some people have lost hope. It's the ability to be able to reach down inside and pull out that, that positive yeah. energy that people need in order to make it another day. Yeah, yeah. That's what music does. And the good thing about music is universal. Yes. You may not speak my language, but then again, we speak the same. Same, same language. I like that. Yeah. All right, now what do you like least about your profession? The thing I like least is, is the hard work of Carton, carton speakers and amps and <laughs> all of that stuff. The, 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 I know why roadies exist now. Because as a musician, it's really hard to do all that work. As far as moving equipment, make sure everything's yeah. right, and then get up there and play, and then cart it and put it back in the truck and on to the next. Yeah, so after you done played uh, two or three sets, yeah. now you gotta take it, down, take it down, pack it up. Pack it up, make sure you ain't left nothing. And you haven't left anything. No, that's too much. Yeah, that's too much. That's too much. All right, what about, uh, uh, how long have you been uh, doing what you do as far as your, your mus musicianship and, and, and your, your craft? I've been playing for over 30 years. 30 years? I've been, I've been playing since I was, I played drums before I was five years old, but I really officially started playing when I was five. So you started off playing drums? I started playing pots and pans. <laughs> so so, so, so tell, tell me about that. What, what drew you to... To the pots and well, pans. Well, the pots and pans was before I could really do a lot of talking, but I used to always go in the kitchen, pull out the pots and pans, and make rhythm on them. So music was in you. Music was already in me. Music was already speaking to me and through me. Um, after that, my parents bought me a drum set. I was playing, and I played in church. Played in church, played drums in high school, all the way through high school. So I've, I've been some places musically, and played sex in high school as well. So how did you transition from... You know, um, me being a musician, I play a number of things, but, uh, you know, we usually have a, a particular love for one. Uh, we lean more towards one than the other. Mm -hmm. How did you make that transition from drums to sax? I mean, what drew you to that? Sax gave me a, a, an outlet for expression that drums just couldn't provide me. Melody. Yeah, and when I started playing sax, I fell in love with it. And, and so, yes, I, I, I love drums, but I, I, I really love sax. Okay. Because it gives me an outlet that otherwise I wouldn't be able to do. Gotcha. More expressive. More expressive. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, tell, tell, tell your listeners uh, uh, something about your music release and where they can buy your music. Well, this is my first musical release. Uh, Lord bless me to do this a few years ago now, 2013, to be uh, up front. It's called Meditations. This Hold is, it up a little bit this there. Is, this is a, a project that allows individuals to start their day correctly. It gives them something positive to meditate on. Of course, God is, is in and through all of us, but it gives them a positive um, outlet to start their day out right. Start, start your day out right and gives you something to think on that's good. That's a, 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 what's the name of that again? Meditations. I, I want to make sure they get it. And you can find it on my website, TerrenceHawkins.com, or WeAreTheHawkins.com. Uh, you can also find it on CD Baby, uh, and it is world distributed, so it's easy to find. You can find it on iTunes, Spotify, uh, 
Amazon, all of your download uh, sites. Now I'm gonna get back to that Hawkins thing, but right now you have another CD in your hand. Uh, tell us something about that CD. I think your wife is involved in this part. This is uh, our second release. Hold that up just a little higher for me. There you go. Our second release uh, in pursuit of his presence. This is my wife Chantel on the cover. Uh, yes, so, yes, yes. And and this was just a different approach uh, that we tried to take musically, and my wife joined in with me on this. Of course, she is on the first album. Uh, but she's really taking the, the, the helm on this project. This is her baby, she said, and we work together on this. So now the songs on that particular album, uh, are, 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 did you co-write together? Or what, See, did, tell we, us about we, the, the music on we, it. We wrote these together. There's more songs that we wrote on this project. On this project. Um, and we put a couple covers in as well, but just more expression, more freedom. And, and then uh, more from a singer's approach to an instrumentalist's approach. But of course, there are instrumental overtones in here as well. Yeah, well, you own it.